everyone, it's Brittany here, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on a Christmas junk journal. Um, I had done a video on one I made for my mother-in-law, and I had actually a lot of requests to show how I made it. Um, so I've kind of done all the prep work, um, but I'm going to go through and show you guys what all I did. And for this, I'm using the Paper Studio Winter Wonderland paper pad, and these are 8.5 by 11. And um, you can do these junk journals not only with Christmas paper. Um, if you just search on YouTube junk journals, you'll get a lot of things that pull up. Um, but I thought Christmas junk journals would be really fun just because um, you could put your receipts in there, you could put your lists in there. If you're budgeting, you can put your budget in there and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys really quick how I put everything together. And I had a question about my size, and I've actually made a couple different sizes of the junk journals. But um, Tina, who is Tina's Cricut Create here on YouTube, were the ones that decided to do um, a Christmas junk journal swap. And I got this one from her, and I loved the size of it. I thought it was perfect. And let's see. Um, this one is 6x8, and so that is the size that I've been going off of just because... I really love the size of this junk journal. Um, it's the perfect size. So, anyways, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Like I said, I've already kind of done the prep work, but I wanted to show you guys how I put it together and everything else. And junk journals are not my invention. I did not come up with this. I did nothing like that at all. This is just how I do it. Um, so yeah. And um, since my papers are 8.5 by 11, I'm going to show you guys how this works for me. And it won't always be that you're using 8.5 by 11 paper. Um, and I sometimes I like to use just scrap paper. Um, even for my junk journals, I always get some coordinating cardstock because it just gives you more room to write. And I always just get these out of my um, scrap bin. I put all my scraps in a bin and so I will just pull scraps out that match and I will use those. Um, so yeah. So there's that. And now since I'm doing 6x8, all my pages are 6x8. I even do my covers 6x8 because I think it's easier for me to bind and punch the holes and everything if they're all the same. Um, but for this, so we're going to cut this at 6 and then you're going to have this strip here. Now, I always save this, and then I'll usually just cut it, you know, randomly in half or whatever, um, so that I can use this as well, and you'll see that in a minute, but don't throw it away. And then, I cut at 8, and then when you do this, and if you're doing, like me, I think I cut 10 pages, so my junk journal will have 10 big full pages, um, you'll have all of these. Well, this is already the same width, so I just put them on the back of one that's different. Um, and I do use liquid glue for that, just so that if you put something in there, it won't get stuck. And so, yeah. So that's where I come up with my pockets. That way you're not cutting more paper. That way, you know, you're not wasting the stuff. You're still using it, and it gives you a good pocket space for those receipts or for those lists or whatever. Um, so that is how I do that. That's how I assemble my pages. I just would glue this on these three sides and you would have your pocket. So I will show you that here. So here I've done that. So all my pages um, are like that and then you'll have the pocket here. And then um, for the cover you will need chipboard. Um, I just take some chipboard that I got from Michael's in like a 12 pack or something. And I mean, it's not the best, but when you put it on the book, it's not going to be bending and popping around. Um, so I just do that and then I cover it with my pattern paper. And I just glue that on there and then you punch the holes. So there's that. And then I did all my pages already. And as you can see, they're, they all have a different pattern um, on the pocket on the back. So that, those are my um, pages. And then I see I took my scraps and I'll cut them, you know, if they need to be cut. If not, then I just use them. And you can use a punch on the edge. You can not. Um, some of these I didn't. 
But these were all just leftover pieces from these longer strips that you have left over. So, I mean, you really use every bit of it if you want to. Um, so I already did all these, and then I just have punched the holes. And these two were some bigger pieces, but I had those left from my last junk journal. And then I took these vellum pieces, and you don't have to do vellum, you don't, you know, you don't have to do anything in a junk journal, but I just wanted to use up this vellum because, you know, it's cute and it's fun to stamp on, but I do recommend if you are going to stamp on your vellum to use stays on ink. I did um, try my Hero Arts ink. Um, I thought just if I let it dry that it would be good, but it kind of just stays wet on top of it. It kind of sits. So I do not recommend that. I recommend if you're going to stamp with these, stamp with stays on. Um, so there's those. And then for in my last one, I had cut these. I print and cut these with my silhouette. Sorry, I hope you guys can see. Um, but I did these just so that, you know, I would have them and I can stick them in my junk journal. I can, you know, you can put them on some of these extra pages. They're just really cute. There's a lot of endless possibilities when you do these. And you can stamp. You don't have to stamp. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, I did take, oops, I did take some of the same pattern paper and I just cut some envelopes out, um, using my silhouette. And then I just put a little washi tape on the back just so that they will hold closed. And I did still punch the bottom, so whatever tag I'm going to put in here or, um, you know, whatever I am going to stick in here, you want to make sure that it doesn't cross over those lines and you can still shut your envelopes. So I just did a couple envelopes. And then, like I said, I do use... Um, scrap paper so this is all just kind of for my scrap bin um, and I like that they're all not the same size usually if they are the same size I will usually cut them so that they're not um, just because I like that feel of the junk journal and then you can take index cards you can take notebook paper um, different notepads whatever you want um, I just like to put something in here with lines so that you know, whoever gets it, if they would rather write on the lines, they still have that option. They still have the line paper. And I did some here where I actually stamped on the in on the backs of the index cards. Um, I wasn't very smart, though, because some of them bled through a little bit. Oops. But it does, it adds a good look, um, you know, to add some stamping and just some touch, special touches like that in there. Um, so yeah, so that is everything pretty much that I put in my junk journal. And you, like I said, you can use a corner tromper, you can use punches, you can use dies. It's really a lot of fun because with a junk journal, there's nothing you have to follow. Um, there's nothing at all, you know. So I just kind of usually, I will take like, I kind of set like a rule before I do my junk journal for myself. So... I will kind of look at everything that I have cut, and usually, well, here, let's see. Okay, so if you kind of look at my pile, and I know you guys can't see everything, but I've kind of set it out. So vellum's here, I have like my plain colored cardstock here, I've got my envelopes here, um, some of the bigger scraps are here, and then I have the um, vertical ones, horizontal ones. And I will kind of set a rule so that between every page, there will be the same amount of whatever it is. Um, so I may put one index card on each thing and then, you know, one scrap piece of paper and one color cardstock. Um, and then usually I'll do like one special element, which in this case would be like a tag or an envelope or whatever. So in this case I have tags. Um, so, on the next page, I would just do the same thing. I would do my index card. And you guys could layer these all, all types of different ways. I mean, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason at all to a mini album. Um, or <laughs> to a junk journal, sorry. I have my mind elsewhere, I guess. And then, since I'm not using an envelope, I would use a piece of vellum here just to give it that still, you know, it's not feeling too plain. And I would just keep on going. Um, 
And another thing I do is I don't really like to match the papers. I like to kind of, um, you know, like I wouldn't use this one here. But you could. I just wouldn't. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all I do. And I just wanted to show you guys. You could put as many um, index cards or, you know, paper or whatever you want. Um, it's totally, totally up to you. And then you put it all together. And when I bind, when I go to bind it, oops, I have my covers on here. When you go to bind this, you do take, you'll have the front cover, and then if this was all put together, I set it all together before I bind it. Um, so you have your back cover and your front cover, and before you put your ring on, you want to make sure that you open this like, like there's already a ring on here, and you'll swing it around to the front, and then put your wires through, and then cinch, or cinch it, or whatever, and then, um, then it would be closed, and then you don't have to worry about your covers getting stuck. Um, so that is one tip that I've learned, because I made that mistake before. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much my tutorial. I really hope this helped. I know it's nothing, you know, too particular, or measurements or anything, but, um, there really is no rules with junk journals, so I hope you guys give it a try and have some fun. Um, if you guys do do them, I'd love to see them, so feel free to send me the links or, um, you know, PM me the links or whatever, um, because I would really like to see what you guys all come up with. Um, so thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.